Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Uh, this is going to be a general reading uh, for the collective of Twin Flame Soulmates uh, out there. <laughs> I lost my train of thought for a second, sorry. Because <laughs> uh, these freaking cards, there's, I mean, I love them, but I almost hate them at the same time. They're hard to shuffle. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be a general reading for the collective of Twin Flames and Soulmates. <laughs> Um, since this is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, I do offer personal readings. That information is below. The link to my site, intuitiveenvisions.com, uh, is there as well. And my Instagram account and ways to support the channel is there as well. Okay, so I want to thank you guys so much for uh, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, what else I want to say? Oh, uh, this... Um, these are energies, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Um, if you're not familiar, Divine uh, Masculine could be a female, uh, vice versa. And I use uh, terms like you, he, she, that person. This could be you or the person that you're thinking about or someone involved in the equation. Okay. All right. So this topic is going to be similar to the little coffee break one that I do. Um, the five minute one, but this is going to be like a longer extended version of that one. Not a whole lot longer, but a little bit. So this is going to be what's happening between the next 24 to 72 hours. So basically like the weekend uh, energy. So what's coming in for you? Um, and that could be in romance, um, love. We're just going to see what um, spirit uh, wants to put forth here. Okay. So these are the love uh, lovers oracle. And I'm just basically going to get a general energy surrounding this uh, weekend uh, energy. As you saw, I already basically shuffled them. So I'm just, I'm done now. <laughs> All right. Forgiveness. Oh my God. I have seen this car come up a lot this week. Okay. There's, I just feel like there's some kind of an apology is building or is coming this week. And this is what I'm asking spirit to reveal. So for some of you, there's an apology uh, coming in and so for some of you you guys are just forgiving um those that have hurt you okay it says stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine okay so there's an energy surrounding uh, forgiveness and um, that's also what spirit is telling you look soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Okay, so there's an energy surrounding soulmate and forgiveness. So these are the Kipper cards. I'm just doing a quick one, two in here and then uh, see what this subject is around. Okay, coffin. So this is about um, endings, beginnings. There's a major change taking place. This also is about transformation. We are in Scorpio season, so there are major transformations going on here. Okay. Let me see with the bottom here, and that makes 10. So again, ending uh, that 19 number. Imprisonment. So there might be an end to this mental imprisonment with a soulmate um, is what I'm, I'm getting so far here. I'm going to leave this card uh, over here just so I can see it. Okay, so this is about being mentally entrapped in a prison, you know, uh, something that's just causing you to be tortured and you wanting to break free, possibly for freedom, you know, or, free, or freedom from the connection or just free to, you know, do what you want to do. But there's a mental uh, torment energy going on here. All right, and I already did these, so I'm going to, whoops, one card slipped out. I'm going to put that back, okay? And uh, these are the Angel Answers cards within the next few months. So something um, you're going to find out about or so something is happening within the next few months. Uh, this could be you. This could be the person you're thinking about, like I mentioned in the beginning. So just keep that in mind. There's something better. So for some of you, there's something better coming in or there is uh, the energy from the person you're thinking about realizing that there's something better. Okay. Uh, 
Oh my God, do you see this? Forgiveness, forgiveness. Okay, so I'm really picking up that there is two major energies behind this forgiveness. Okay, one is there's going to be apology coming in. Two is some of you that may be holding on to any kind of negative energies, bad energies, thoughts that needs to um, be done. It needs to transform. It needs to be done with in order for you to move on. Um, because it says within the next month, there's something better. So for some of you that are in this energy, I, I feel like a lot of you are not, I feel like you are, um, you know, doing your work and, um, you moving forward in your connection. But some of you that are struggling in this bad energy, um, negative energy, it will only lower your vibration and it's just going to keep you from going forward, um, successfully in this connection and just in general in life. Um, so this is uh, saying to me with this other energy that you need to forgive whoever hurt you or whatever they did because it's only going to cause um, this mental imprisonment for yourself. It's not really going to um, keep them trapped. If you stay in that energy, um, you know, so will they. So you will, um, if uh, I just feel like that is for meant for maybe one person or maybe a few, but uh, there is forgiveness is coming a major transformation is happening okay i feel like that's the majority of the uh you guys out there uh, watching this reading is about there's an apology coming in okay the bottom look at that confirmation from spirit yes explanation point not just a regular yes yes <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry i get a little silly sometimes you guys will probably see that in the future. I've been trying to be calm, keep my silliness under check, but you know, it's just kind of coming out because I'm just getting more relaxed when I do these readings. So you'll see it here and there. Sometimes I'm calm and sometimes I'm not. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the one. All right. Metamorphosis. Coffin, metamorphosis, major changes. Something is happening, okay? Something is changing, okay? Whether you're going to see it or not, but there's a major change taking place over this uh, 24 to 72 hour period over the weekend. There's a major change. Somebody is transforming. Uh, um, this could also be a transformation taking place um, with someone or a mentioning or you finding out that they've been transforming um, for the past three months or the next three months. Something surrounding the next three months as well is what I'm picking up here with this card uh, touching this, okay? So you may be going through, you might find out from this weekend that you're gonna go through a major metamorphosis uh, this weekend. Um, this could be job, this could be a love, um, it could be um, anything really but there's major changes taking place. New direction. That's what happens when, um, you know, death comes in and new beginnings come because death brings in life. Okay. Death and rebirth, new direction. There's something better. So you're going to find out or someone, you know, involved in this equation are going to find out that they're going to go, um, towards a new direction towards something better that could be with um, in this connection or this could be with a job or with someone new but something you're going better there is a green energy so this could have to do with um, the earth because it have to do with finances these are the mystic moon oracles by the way if I didn't say twin flame Awakening. Someone is awakening to forgiveness. Okay. Apology. They're awakening that they need forgiveness. They need to apologize. They need to free themselves from this imprisonment. Okay. And I'm just been sensing that this is a soulmate. Um, a, um, or it could be a twin flame, but there is someone that is needing forgiveness and they're awakening to it and they are wanting a major change here. Okay. 
the bottom self-worth they're awakening to self-worth you do have three people in here it could be a third party situation or it could be just anything that's coming in between this could be job okay career like a family member um, it doesn't always have to be a relationship but someone is awakening to their self-worth their value they know okay I just heard they know they know <laughs> I just played over in my head okay these are the romance angels. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. So some of you, this is um, going to take place over the weekend. And then others is going to take place over the um, next few months. Or it's been taking place during the past uh, few months. So um, there are some major changes taking place here. Um, this could involve a soulmate. Uh, this could involve, you know, uh, someone new. But there is definitely romance here in this um, reading. As well as I feel career changes. <laughs> Didn't I say finance and career? I'm telling you. Uh... <laughs> A spirit is on it today <laughs> they are in tune with me um, finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so some of you are taking a major change in your career you're thinking about it um, that there's something better so you're wanting to go in a new direction and then that could also be surrounding this metamorphosis as well since it's touching um, this area that a major change in your career life could be taking place within the next three months. But you are in the energy where you're feeling that there is something better. Okay. I'm just going to move these up because so you can see these cards. Sorry. I'm just going to put that on the top. All right. Now one more. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so someone is feeling on um, this um, unrequited love, and that's why they're needing to have forgiveness, and they are needing to um, they're awakening to this. Okay, that they might be feeling that there is unrequited love, uh, and they may need to take action towards it for some of them. And then some of them, I'm feeling that this is why they're needing um, forgiveness, okay? That energy I was telling you about where I feel that this forgiveness is here for two reasons. It's for an apology and for people to, um, you know, forgive uh, th those or the person that might have hurt, it, hurt them um, in the past in order for them to truly um, change, okay, in, in this energy and awaken, awakening. I'm feeling like there's there's two two energies here. Okay, yeah. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so there is um, some of you are getting a new person because you do have there's something better. There's a new direction in here. This could involve somebody in the workplace um, as well. So this could be uh, there's two. Uh, messages I feel is coming through here uh, finance and then with this card here there could be a new love in your workplace that you're going in a new uh, direction with um, and your career is also a new direction that you might be going in as well so for some of you this is um, uh, you know your soulmate because this is here and this is also this could be your um, soulmate or twin flame that you are thinking about now that is going to come back as a new person um, because he's awakening uh, from this um, energy of forgiveness with this major change with this coffin energy um, and imprisonment. Okay, and then you have the self-worth here as well. So, yeah, I think there's some um, major situation um, taking place here. All right, so I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot to get three more cards here.
and we have prosperity begins okay this is the ace of wands no yes no ace of pinnacles sorry <laughs> yes no that's what this card said yes okay <laughs> anyways this is the ace of pinnacles i'm feeling a little silly right now <laughs> i don't know i'm just very goofy i get like this okay so ace of wands is about a brand new beginning so on the physical plane on earth and um there is some major change in the romantic um, uh, area for you guys, some of you, that's happening within the next few months. Maybe you're going to find out about it, or maybe you're going to start it. Maybe it starts off by a flirt. Um, again, this could be related in the workplace, okay, because this is the Ace of Pentacles, which is all about um, an offer, a brand new beginning, um, you know, on the physical realm. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Oh my God, what's my problem today? <laughs> okay, I'm just a little off. Okay, Six of Pentacles. This is a material and spiritual prosperity. Okay, so again, I feel like this is a lot to do with finances. I feel like the majority of this message, the majority of the energy I'm picking up is about finances, but I am also picking up romance. So this could have to do with in the workplace environment this is about balance okay so this is about equal give and take you know um, this could be about sharing this guy's looking forward towards um, the sun um, um, his happiness um, yeah I feel like this is an energy of you um, look you are the person you're thinking about looking at their future about this new direction realizing there's something better there's a, a, a balance something is not balanced either in career and 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 or love um, as well so there's a lot of earth energy so this is definitely something on the physical plane that's uh, taking place could involve earth signs doesn't mean so could it be someone that takes on that those uh, qualities um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. I say that like a Taurus. I was Taurus. I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then we have the Nine of uh, Wands. Okay, spiritual strength. So this is someone is this is at the end. Okay, this is someone at the end. They're awakening to this this energy of um, unrequited love and you know wanting um, forgiveness um, and like I said some of you are needing to you know forgive like you're you're at the end because nine of wands is like being in a protective energy and it's also like standing up against the en enemy you know seeing somebody as the enemy being very protective so I feel like um, someone is at the end of this okay i feel like that's the majority of this and if somebody is at the end of feeling this unrequited love and they're awakening um to forgiveness uh, possibly awakening to um an apology there's a major transformation um taking place here okay major you have balance here and uh nine and you have the ten here also you have the two nine which is eleven which is um you know, uh, soulmate, or most of the time it's twin flame energy with the 11. But um, yeah, let me see what's down here. Third eye chakra. Okay, so we have six again. You have two sixes. Uh, this is about balance. Okay, some type of balance. You're, this is about um, intuition, a knowing, um, sensing something. Uh, so I'm, I'm sensing that someone is going to follow their intuition within the next 24 or 72 hours over this weekend um, towards their uh, self-worth. So whether this is in this connection or towards someone new, because you do have new love here, um, and then you have a uh, self-worth, and it says yes, and soulmate. And I, so I feel like someone is freeing themselves from this um, mental imprisonment. Um, they're gonna um, offer an apology for some, and then some are going to forgive 
their person that hurt them and they're just going to go forward because they're awakening they're they're at the end of feeling this um, unrequited love um, energy for I feel for the majority and then again some people are taking a new direction in their career they're looking forward to their future some of this involves romance in the workplace uh, with a new person but there's a major metamorphosis, metamorphosis taking place that's happened within the past three months or in the next three months uh, currently there's a new career opportunity or a new offer coming in in romance and in love so the, it might be you might find out about this information it may not all happen in this weekend but you might find out about it or come to this realization over the weekend or next 24 to 72 hours okay you guys so i hope that um, resonated with you if it did please like comment share if you're new to the channel please subscribe again i do offer personal uh, readings all that information is below i want to thank each and every one of you for watching i appreciate you very much have a good day or night whatever it is wherever you are and until next time next video peace love and light